Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Of course, outdoor retailer in Salt Lake kicks off today with four days of every product imaginable for outdoors. Uh, of course, uh, we're talking anything from ice axes to skis to, uh, you know, you, really, you name it. But one of the most important parts of any adventure, is, of course, is the clothing that you wear and those layers that you'll need as you go out into the wilderness, into the wild, as it were. There is probably, I, I'm not sure of anyone that probably knows more about that than the folks from Baffin Boots. And, of course, we have Mark Hubner here, who's the brand manager of that gear. Yeah. Welcome to the show, my friend. How are you? Wonderful. Thank yeah. you very much for having us out. We're thrilled to have you guys here. Of course, uh, there you guys are our friends up north in Canada, <laughs> so to speak, Canada, and uh, we, we, you know, we know you guys know about cold. We think it's cold down here, but you guys, you get a little more of it up there, don't you? We do. Yeah, depending on the time time of year, and uh, when we don't have it, uh, we like to take our gear to the coldest places on on <laughs> right? Earth. Really, yeah. That's a, a point that I really want to talk about with Bath and Boots. You guys have been around for for many years now. Uh, how many is it now? It's uh, well, what, officially ninety seven. Ninety seven. So wow. We were started in nineteen ninety seven. I'm not good at math, so I'm not yeah, going to bother trying to work that out. We're getting close to uh, yeah the twenty year mark, so yeah. or the thirty year mark, which is pretty yeah. amazing. One of the things that you guys, as you said, have always done is to go out in the outdoors. You're this is a family business, so it's something you as a family have been doing. Yes. Uh, my dad grew up in the footwear industry, um, and when he bought the company or bought its predecessor um, and, and created Baffin, uh, I, I was fortunately able to grow up in that industry as well. And, and our whole family has a passion for the outdoors, so all the product that we produce, uh, even before we um, go to production with it, we make sure that not only does it stand up to lab testing um, and manufacture successfully, but we take it out into the field and to the extremes and test everything that we put out. That's a really good excuse for a vacation is what it sounds like to me, my friend. It is, yeah. You know <laughs> what, for people who love the outdoors, it's a fantastic excuse to get outside. Right. Um, other than the uh, one or two occasions where you're in the tent at 50 below and it doesn't feel like a vacation. <laughs> wow. Tell me some of the places that you've been. I, I'd love to talk about your favorites. I want you to go back, reach back to you know, when you were younger, when Dad well, was first getting you guys out. Yeah, when, when I was younger, um, the high school I went to had a great outdoor program. And Northern Ontario can get very cold. Uh, and we had what we called the Northern Campus, which was more or less a cabin. Um, <laughs> the Northern <laughs> Campus? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, they still call it that to the day. That's funny. Um, and uh, so we go up there. It's a retreat now, right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. I'm, I'm actually going to try and get up next month uh, as an alum. And, and uh, we, we provide a lot of footwear and apparel for the students now and, and really support the program because That's we believe awesome. in it. Um, so that was when I first started getting into camping and, and winter uh, exploration. Um, I was very, very lucky in 2008 to get invited on a North Pole expedition by my wow. dad. Um, my brother joined me as well. and that was my first taste of the real extremes. I bet. Yeah. yeah. And did, were you and your brother uh, helpful to each other on this trip? You always wonder, right, with brothers on yeah. something like that, it, like, look, wuss. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. It's not that cold, right? <laughs> was there a little of that going on? You know what? It was actually, there was once or twice where y you kind of lean on each other. Um, mm -hmm. I'd say back home, we, we give each other the gears a little bit more. But yeah. when you're out in that environment and you're alone, and all you can see is white, as far as the eye can see, and it gets cold. Yeah, you better not be messing around. No, no, and and you you know we were both learning even more at that time about layering and uh, what works, and and we both run a little bit hot, um, him more so than myself. Yeah. So different parts of his body would get colder, and I'd say, you know what, here, throw this piece on. And I tried, I tried our best yesterday because on this trip and and on subsequent trips we have. Um, we've tried to be head to toe in Baffin, uh, whether it's product that we have in the line right now or product that we're developing for the future. That's so. very, very cool. So the North Pole was obviously, the, uh, it sounds like one of the absolute highlights, but there have been others as well. What are some of the other favorite trips? There have, I'd say uh, close second to the pole was in 2011, we skied across Baffin Island. Okay. So in Canada, uh, we got to cross the Arctic Circle uh, wow. under our own power. So we, we pulled sleds and, and put some skins on our skis and, and trekked through uh, Iwetuk uh, National Park, which is a, a frozen river that 
travels through a, a mountain range uh, borders on an ice cap. Really? Yeah, it's home to Mount Thor, which is, wow. a, is a, it's, I believe, the steepest drop of um, almost any mountain out there. Yeah, very scary, as I understand it's, it. It's intimidating. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm afraid of heights, so this, uh, this so one kills I. me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you do that. And you guys have had to strap on the, the crampons and the whole nine yards for some of this, right? Yep. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, um, on that note, actually, <laughs> we've recently committed to our next expedition. Yeah, this, is a, this one is pretty extreme, too. It's uh, probably for a lot of us, we haven't heard of this mountain, but for you guys, it's, it's rather famous. Yeah, or you know what? Infamous, maybe even. Might be the right to word. the climbing community, it is very well respected right. um, and very well known. But you'd be surprised, even in Canada, the people who you say, you know what, we're going to climb Mount Logan, they say, oh, what's that? Right. And it's interesting because by mass, it's the world's largest mountain. Wow. And it's the highest peak in Canada. So it's a very appropriate expedition for, for Baffin to take our product on. And um, what we love about it, too, is, is for a mountain climb, it's more of a, an expedition climb and less of a steep and technical one. So right. we do pull sleds um, for a couple of weeks, and then we get to high camp, ditch the sleds, throw in packs, crampons, and that's when we uh, summit. Get into the technical climb of it yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be real exciting. When are you guys doing this? May 29th we leave. Wow. Yeah. So you just set a date and you just, that's the date you'll get your gear together and make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Will you become very committed to this at that point? I, you know what? I've become very committed to it now. We all have. Um, you know, we're less than 18 weeks out now and it's going to be the most challenging um, physically uh, expedition we've done I believe in the past and um, I'm afraid of heights as well so <laughs> when we get up there you know altitude plays know a factor, <laughs> height plays a factor um, and personally I've never done any real climbing um, I don't have experience ski mountaineering or uh, doing some of the things that we have to do I grew up skiing um, I skied in Park City a, a number of times and love it here we're coming back in March to train uh, and that'll be the first time we actually uh, skin up some backcountry stuff and ski down. So, wow! Excited to come back here and do that. I often think uh, the correlation here uh, that some people need to sort of draw this line of it is very similar to auto racing, where you get you know where those folks go out and test the newest tires, test the newest engine setups, test all these things to see if they're going to work, and then they end up in production models of cars. And this is very similar to that for you guys. You go out and test new developments, new products before we ever see them. You make sure they're going to work. And then after they've been proven on Mount Logan, that's when we're going to see some of this gear. That's a fantastic and spot on analogy. Um, appreciate it when, when people <clears throat> make that connection. And it's definitely something you know we thought about when we got into the apparel business. Uh, we want it to be focused and we wanted to develop a system head to toe for the extremes. Um, because if it proves successful in the most extreme environments on the planet, it's going to succeed for you whether you're walking the dog in the morning or you know, shoveling the driveway. Excellent. Well, I know it's going to be uh, an exciting adventure for you yet again. I hope we're going to see postings. Will this be on the Baffin site? Will we see Yeah, stuff? we're putting together a website and uh, everything will be tracked and followed very well. Now, I know there's going to be some individuals who remember when you were on Main Street and wonder where they can go to get gear because you're, you're not there now. Where is the best place for getting Baffin gear? They can go online, right? They can go online, yeah. We sell directly through our website. Um, you know, I, I'd say backcountry.com too, uh, which is right down the road. Um, they've got a, you know, we've got a great presence on their website and, and we were just in their retail store the other day and customer service is fantastic. So that would be my recommendation. Excellent. Well, I hope you have a great time in outdoor retailer. And of course, we're looking forward to so much of the new gear. Uh, you guys have really expanded that quite a bit into a lot of layering items and things. So we're gonna see a lot of new stuff. Uh, coming out very soon and much of it tested right there on Mount Logan. Of course, we appreciate you going out and appreciate doing it for us so we don't have to. I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you go out and do that. All I kind of right. wish I was going with you, I'll be honest. Other, you know, Because at least we're both afraid of heights together. So that's Yeah, yeah, we have uh, somebody to hold each other's hand. <laughs> that's right, and that's what it would take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be okay. Yeah. All right, well, when we come back, we're switching gears back again to Sundance and Slamdance, of course, and we have a movie review for you coming up right here on the Mountain Mornings show after these commercial messages. We'll be right back.